Hey guys, welcome to BMW Blog and welcome to the Legends of the Autobahn 2022. We are live from Monterey, California. And the reason for this video is really to show you some of the special BMW cars here, new and old, of course. And we're gonna start off with the new ones. First off, we have a very special one, and that's the BMW M4 CSL. The car needs almost no introduction. You've seen plenty of our videos before. A thousand units, global, very, very limited. About 300 and something coming to the US. So once again, it's gonna be very hard to get in the United States. Horsepower, let's start with that, 543. The car is also about 200 pounds lighter than the regular M4, so that's spectacular. And there are quite a few things that BMW has done to reduce the weight on the M4 CSL, which clearly makes the car faster and more fun to drive. They remove the back seat, clearly that's a given on the CSL. They have a carbon fiber hood and of course some other carbon fiber bits on the car. But with that being said, let's take a quick walk around the car and then I'm gonna show you some other ones. All right, so let me show you a few things here, right? So let's start off laser lights clearly you can also see a different kini grill slightly different than on the m3 and m4 the regular models of course carbon fiber bits all over large air intakes front lip anything you would expect on a very very sporty car as i said a carbon fiber hood of course it's got the really nice red and carbon fiber inserts on the hood as well if we move to the side, you can see the blacked out wheels with the 50 years of M logo and also the red calipers, carbon ceramic brakes, of course, a given on a car that needs to go on the track. The black and red theme continues and you can see right there the M4 badge on the side gill. Once again, looks quite cool. And then of course you have the carbon fiber mirrors as well. Let me show you inside too, since we're here. So you can see right there also the carbon fiber buckets. Larry Whitney, stand up here, please. Carbon fiber trim all around, of course. Alcantara steering wheel with a 12 o'clock red stripe. Of course, you can see the center console being quite different than the regular M3 and M4. There are no cup holders, no other luxury amenities. And if you take a look now in the back seat, so rear seat delete. And of course, there is a little space there for some storage or even if you want to put your helmet, you can see it right there. So once again, a very stripped out interior. The idea is really here to save weight. And as I said, 200 pounds, it's quite significant for a car today. All right. All right, so that was the M4 CSL, but right next to this one, you have another CSL, and that is the 3.0 CSL, the iconic Batmobile. And the reason probably why BMW has this car today here, it's because they will unveil a successor to the 3.0 CSL in the future. Uh, we've heard about that car, we've seen the spy photos, and it's rumored to cost about 750,000 euros, and it's only going to be available uh, in Europe and other markets, not in the United States. So a nice combination of new and old here are the legends of the Autobahn. Speaking of new, let's take a look at another special car, and that's the BMW M8 painted in Imola red. A very iconic color. We've seen it on multiple BMWs, and we get to see it actually for the first time on a BMW M8. M8 competition, 617 horsepower, massive power, super fast car, very fun to drive. And once again, you will love that Imola red, you know, deep red with the black accents and the carbon fiber as well. A nice touch on this one. You also have blacked out wheels with the yellow, calipers of the carbon ceramic brakes so plenty of stopping power as always on the competition models you are getting this carbon fiber package which brings a lot of carbon fiber pieces like right here on the side gill and of course the side mirrors as well so once again another new car here present legends of the autobahn but now speaking of another red car iconic bmw z8 roaster uh, car needs no introduction also. I mean, it's been uh, one of the most iconic, most beautiful cars ever designed by BMW. It has been uh, part of the James Bond movies and uh, clearly it's even more famous now. Quite expensive today and um, when you see it in red, it is an absolute beauty right here. Second place we have All right, so let's Bennett. walk around and see what else we have here. So. Of course, any uh, Legends of the Autobahn will have the BMW 2002s. And you can see right here a series of 2002 cars. There are quite a few here. I counted at least 30, 40 of them. And uh, once again, it's the car they put BMW on the map in the United States. 
in very, very cool car today still. You can see in different colors. And of course you have the Inca orange, which is quite iconic. All right, and speaking of limited cars, uh, we have right here the BMW 1M. Only 750 made for the US market. It's the only one here. It's got about 44,000 miles, so it's not, uh, it's not a high mileage car, but it looks pristine stock and extremely, extremely good looking car still. Another BMW Z8, this time in all black. Absolutely stunning car. You can never go wrong with black on the Z8. All right, so E30 325IS. Once again, you will see a bunch of E30 cars when you go to a Legends of the Autobahn show. Of course, it features the typical red color that you see on most E30s. It's got BBS wheels. Looks absolutely pristine. And of course, if you move up here, you also have the convertible version 325IC. Our first place, we have Kevin Hazelton with the 1973. Once again, pristine condition, SC looks absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. All right, now let's jump into a different section. I'm going to show you some more cars, so come join me. Of course, Alpina is present here as well. This is the Alpina B8 4.6. You can see right here. You don't usually see a lot of Alpinas at these type of shows, but uh, they usually draw a lot of attention because they truly stand out. And you can see on this one why. It's got a typical Alpina graphics on the outside. Of course, even the license plate, it tells you that it's from Bucklo, Germany, and you can see right there the B8 4.6 logo on it. Another pristine condition car here. Now we're moving on to more modern BMWs. Of course, you have your E46s, a car that's due to become a classic if it's not already a classic car. You can see a series of them. You got a white one here, and then you also have a gray one there. And right behind that, you also have the BMW E30 M3, a car that exploded in price in the last few years, and understandably so. And it was an understated design, classic, and amazing to drive as well. Okay, this class is... All right, let's hop on the other side, and we'll have a few other cars to take a look at. Of course, you have an E36 M3. So that's the next progression from your E30, of course. You can see also here a beautiful blue color. If you move next, you will see right here the M5 as well. Right behind me, you also have an E46 M3. Looks to be more of a project car. And now let's take a look at some other interesting things, which are really some of the tuned up BMWs that you might be seeing here. So you can see a few project cars. This one is here from BBS. It's got a, a Kini grill from Vorsteiner, so a slightly different Kini grill. Also comes with BBS wheels. And right here you also have the British Green M4 from IND Distribution, a Chicago-based company, our good friends there. And once again, it's a car that's been decked out with BBS wheels. It has the Vorsteiner front Kini grill. It's got an Aventuri air intake and a bunch of other mods that you can see under the hood. And once again, you can see the Vorsteiner carbon fiber Kini grill, quite different than your regular M3 and M4s. British green painted everywhere. The yellow one? I saw it. I didn't see you the other day too, and I'm like, 
How would I know it's you? <laughs> That's the last part. I would have told you. I don't, I don't like, tell anyone that I have it yet. I just told everyone. All right, so let's go further. I'm going to show you one more interesting car from PSI. All right, so you guys might remember the car from our friends at PSI. You have the M3 in Ruby Star, beautiful color right here. And of course, it stands out with a real cool roof right there. And you will see a review of this car in the next video. We actually plan on driving the car here in California and we'll tell you how it drives with all the mods that they've applied to the car. All right, so before we head out to see a few more other classic cars, let me show you another car from Akrapovich. So you know Akrapovich, the makers of the titanium exhaust system, sounds really good on all the BMW cars. They have a project car here as well. It's an M5 competition. And I believe this is a Daytona violet color. You've seen it recently on the M3 Touring as well. Got HRE wheels, our friends from HRE provide with the wheels there. And if you go to the back, I'm gonna show you the exhaust system with the carbon fiber pipes as well. All right, so you can see right here, large exhaust pipes, a Kropovich titanium exhaust. You have a very cool carbon fiber diffuser. And of course, you have the carbon fiber surrounding the pipes as well. Typical Akrapovic stuff, sounds great, looks great. And as always, it's recommended if you want to get a little bit more sound out of your car. So with that being said, we have one more stop. I'm going to show you a few more classic BMWs and then we're going to head out. I'm going to bring you some more videos. All right, so this is the BMW E9 Coupe class. So clearly you have the CS models, you have the CS cell, of course. Uh, and you can see right here, different, different colors. And of course, you have the uh, very cool looking yellowish 3.0 CSL right here. Second place, Samir It's a car that always stands out every time I see it in this color. It's a stunning, stunning example of BMW design. Okay, so this was a quick overview of the Legends of the Autobahn 2022 Monterey Car Week. Before I let you go, let me know in the comments below which car you prefer from this one. Would you take an M4 CSL brand new one or would you go for a classic BMW? And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.